<clears throat> Good morning. Today is Monday. Monday, the 16th of November, 2020. This is my journey with uh, The Simplest Biz Ever, thesimplestbizever.com. And um, this video, and I'm going to, just so you know, I'm going to piss off some people here. Okay, I'm just letting you know up front, some people are going to be a little pissy about this video and the next subsequent videos actually, but it is what it is. Okay, so the name of this video is The Simplest Biz Ever versus MLMs. Now, I don't subscribe to anybody working a job. If that's what you do, that's what you do, but it's not my thing. It never has been my thing and it never will be. Why? Because I'm trading time for dollars. Why would I ever want to do that? I wouldn't, right? If you're thinking and you do the numbers, look, liars figure, but figures don't lie. So I'm going to do the numbers here when it comes to MLM versus the simplest biz ever. Now, First of all, people like to say MLMs are a pyramid scheme. Okay, first of all, virtually, well, not virtually, mostly all businesses are pyramids. Okay, mostly all businesses are set up as pyramids. Now, here's what I mean by that. You have the owner at the top, then he will hire a vice president, a CEO, whatever. They make less money than him but that they do most of the setting up the business work. Then you have your um, management teams, whatever the levels they are. Then you have the workers. The workers are at the bottom. They make the least amount of money, do all the work. That's a pyramid. That's every, that's almost every business model there is, right? So why would MLM be any different? It's not. There are people at the top who make the majority of the money and the people at the bottom give them the ability to make all that money because they talk them into believing they can be at the top. When numbers will prove out that MLMs are 98% failures. 98% for, for the majority of people who get involved. That's not a knock on the business. That's not a knock on the people who do it. It's just the truth. There's the numbers, okay? Now, with that said, I'm good with it if that's what you do. I did it for years. I, I joined every MLM network marketing thing there was to join for the longest time. I did. And I never really made any money. Now there are people around me who did make money and that's cool. There are some people around me who still make money but they're only making that money by not trading time for dollars. They're trading people for dollars. And in essence, they're trading time for dollars as well. And here's why. If you're in a business model that has a 98% failure rate, doesn't that stand a reason that there's going to be a lot of people who don't make it? They might get in with the, the idea that they're going to make it, but then it doesn't take, what, 30, 60 days, and then they're out because they're not making any money. And since you can't do the work for them and keep a life of your own, some guys even try. They try to do all the work for their people so their people don't quit. They come up with all kinds of different excuses. Well, if you get three to make, to get, be free, if it's free, you won't quit. Well, that's kind of true. But the problem is there's very few businesses that allow you to have three for very long that you didn't go get. Because sooner or later, those three are going to quit too. That's just, the, it just is 98%. They're going to, the numbers prove it. Now, that, does that mean that I didn't do it? No, it doesn't. I did it for years, knowing the truth. So let's go further. If you are in an MLM and you're watching this video, Here's what I already know with a 98% certainty. You are not making any money. 
If you are, you're not making enough to stay in it. Because you know for every one person you bring in, two or three people are dropping out at the bottom. If you don't believe me, ask the guy or the girl who's making 10 grand a month. The elusive 10 grand a month. Ask them how many people they have to put in their business every single day in order to maintain that 10 grand. You have to put in at least one a day because by the end of the year, about 300 of them have already dropped out. So when are you, when are you passive? You're not passive. There's no such thing as passive income in, in MLM. It's just residual. Residual means you're getting a piece of the profit. Passive means you're getting money to do nothing. I'm going to make a video about how the simplest biz ever is a passive business. But again, and, and the only way any business has passive income is you have to do some work up front and then you make the passive income. Let me give you an example. I've written songs my whole life. And some of those songs have gone on people's albums. One of those albums was Jimmy Vaughn's Do You Get the Blues? I wrote, I don't know, three, four, four songs on that, on that album. I don't remember exactly how many now. It was back in 2000. Okay, 20 years ago. But I wrote songs on that album. We won a Grammy in 2001. And to this day, every quarter, I get a check come hella high water. Now, is it a big check? Not these, but my first one, I bought a house with it. That was 20 years ago. I've since lost that house <laughs> because those checks keep going down. Okay. So again, but at least it's passive because I did some work up front and then I made money and I still make money into perpetuity. It's just the way it works. I've written songs in the last year that have gone on commercials, you know, sync licensing, commercials and advertisings and things like that. And I get paid for work I did a year ago. I wrote two songs with my partner. Um, I don't know how long ago was it? A month ago, maybe? We got three placements off the ones off of one of those songs. And those are going to pay. I've got thousands of dollars on the books right now that hadn't shown up in my mailbox, but it's going to. So if I do absolutely nothing, I'm going to get paid on that. That's called passive. Okay. If you don't have that, you need to find a way to get it. Now, here's the best way to get it. If you don't have talent like being a musician or playwright or playwright or, you know, screenwriter, you know, writing scripts for movies, television, whatever. Here's how you get passive income. Go to <laughs> the simplestbizever.com. Get the program, take the course, so you learn how to do this. I'm a professional musician. And people ask me, well, that's not music. No, everything you do doesn't have to be in, involving music. That's how come I love music because I don't force it to make my income. It's like getting your wife to be a hooker. You're forcing that which you love to make you money. That's just my view. Does that mean that mean these? It's just mine, my view. Okay. Now, that's all about MLM. I don't even have to talk about that anymore. You can look that up on Google, right? You can see anything you want to learn about MLM, MLM, network marketing, all of those things. Okay. Anything above a single tier affiliate program is a multi level. I don't care if it's a one up, two up, three up, nine up. I don't, it, none of that matters. That's just terminology. It all comes down to one thing, multi-level. In other words, if I own a business and you can sell that business for me, right? And, that, and you're that first layer underneath me, that's a single tier affiliate program. But as soon as that single tier turns into two tiers, in other words, I own the business, you sell it for me, you make a percentage of the money called a residual. However, if you bring somebody that sells the business and you make a residual of that and I make the rest up here, that's a multi-level. 
Okay? Are we clear? Good. Now, how is the simplest biz ever different than MLM? Not only different, but light years better. Here's how. One, I don't require you to make money. That's first. If it requires somebody to sell it with you or for you, to, for you to make money, it's not passive and it never will be. It just is, okay? Second thing, it's not sexy at all, okay? It's not lotions, potions, not vitamins, not minerals, none of that. It's not Forex. Not that there's anything wrong with Forex. It's not stock market. Not that there's anything wrong with stock market. It's none of that. It's not Bitcoin, not gold and silver, not precious metals, none of that stuff. It's none of that. It's very, very simple. Right. What you see behind me is my company logo, ABS Inc. Aggregate Business Surplus is my company. I use the Minnesota license plate because that's where it's based out of. However, I have some subcontractors who work with me, not for me, but with me. One is in the Dallas, Dallas Fort Worth area. All right. He lives in the Dallas Fort Worth area, this area right here, Dallas Fort Worth, Texas. He works with me. I send him all the documents necessary to work with me. And this is, in, in essence, his area. I send him the companies. He does the sale. He makes 50% of the profit. I make the rest. That's a great deal. <laughs> I've also got a guy who lives in Marietta, Georgia, right outside of Atlanta. I could give him the entire Atlanta metro area, but why would I do that? He lives in Marietta. Why would I have him driving all over or calling all over and maybe having to do some driving when he lives in Marietta? So I'm gonna find him a book of business probably within a five mile radius of his house. And he's never going to, first of all, he's never going to have to leave his home to make money. This will all be done by phone. And I could technically do all the work I'm giving these people business for myself in Georgia. I would never have to go to Georgia. Let me say that again for the people in the back of the room. I could do business in every state of the union and every country and never leave my house. I've taken this thing to the next level. <laughs> I'm just telling you guys, where there's a will, there's a way. And how did I even get to this? Simple. When I first started with the simplest biz ever, I didn't have good enough credit to buy the truck I wanted. So when they turned down my credits so I couldn't buy the truck without paying down payment, because I don't pay down payment on vehicles, all right, I walked away, dejected. How am I going to run this business? How am I going to go do the pallet business? How am I going to, right? Did I do that for about five minutes? Then I said, okay, let me dig into the training. And once I got into the training deeper, I called John Wilker myself. And John said, yeah, you, you, you can, you can throw, throw away everything you've learned up to now. Because <laughs> you've got another model. And that's the model I've expanded on. And now I'm taking even that model to another level. Why? Because I started with the training. Now, what do you call a person who calls himself having or herself having a pallet business who has not taken his training. We call them scavengers, scavengers. 
they're usually the guy with the raggedy pickup truck who goes and begs for five or six pallets and then takes them to the pallet yard and sells them for beer money. But if you're trying to do a real business, the simplest biz ever. And I don't care if you have to take out a loan to get the training. Most of you guys spent four to five, maybe six years to end up with student loans that you can't pay off and a job that's not related to your major at all. That's just the truth. And most of you guys who did all of that decided to get in an MLM because somebody talked you into it because the marketing was good and it fed on your greed and fear. And next thing you know, you just keep bouncing from one network marketing business to the other. You keep bouncing from one to another MLM opportunity. Not to mention those who've wasted you, who've thrown away your money to join some gifting program, a SUSU or something like that. You know, in the water, on the trees, in the bushes, all kind of crazy. Come on now, come on now. And you're not willing to do a business is all it takes for you to do business in your city or anywhere else. And if you don't want to spend the money on the training, that's fine. If you don't have that money, you can say you don't have it or can't afford it, which just means it, it's not valuable enough to you. You want to work with me? Reach out. My information is all over the place. <laughs> Reach out. Just telling you guys. Just telling you. Do it. Don't waste time talking about anything else, right? Don't waste time because time is the only thing that's of real value, right? Let me show my screen again. This is my company website, Aggregate Business Surplus, Inc. Quality Palettes. That's what I sell. If you're a buyer or a supplier, that's my company, right? You can work for this company, but you actually be working with this company because I don't have any employees and I don't want to make you one. But if you want to have your own business that actually grows exponentially, Go to the simplest biz ever.com. And that's where you go. Watch the video. Click here now. After you click here now, it's going to take you here. Is this the simplest biz ever? Ask John Wilker. He's the guy that got me started. I owe him a debt of gratitude I'll never be able to pay. That's my guy, Johnny Nine, I call him. <laughs> All right. Again, guys, if you want to make passive income, a little bit of hustle muscle, but if you want to be, make passive income, reach out to me. I can put you to work. Never leave your house. You might have to leave your house once or twice in the course of a six-month period. But I live in Minnesota. It's cold outside right now. And it's going to get worse. <laughs> so that's why I've got my company beanie. However, live in Dallas, Florida, wherever. Get yourself a baseball hat. <laughs> With your license plate on it. I'll show you how to do it. Show you how to get it. And let's get to work, man. Let's get to work. With that said, that's all I got. It's me, it's G, with the simplestbizever.com, telling you don't waste any more time. 2021 is coming no matter who you voted for or what's going on, all right? It's coming. The question is, are you going to allow anything other than you to determine how much money you make next year? <laughs> I could have talked about how much money you can make, but that sounds too MLM-ish. With that said, I'm going to get out of here. You guys have a great day. And as always in parting, 
Have a safe and prosperous day. And peace.